burial chamber stands on a low rise in the middle of a farm field. There is a small lay-by on the side of the road and a short path to the site, which is visible from the roadside. There really isn't much to see beyond the uprights and the capstone, but it is still a compelling site nonetheless. But do take the time to visit Tinker's Wood only a few miles away if you're visiting St Lythans, and you will see Tinker's Wood Burial later on in the video. St Lythans was erected during the Neolithic period around 4000 to 3000 BC. It served as a place of common burial of early agricultural communities whose settled lifestyle has allowed them to erect similar buildings. Perhaps it was also performed as a ceremonial function, as a place of meeting and rites. The bodies of the dead probably remained uncovered before the bones were moved to the burial chamber. The decline in the use of megalithic tombs occurred around 2500 BC during the coming Bronze Age. I'll go in some I think that's it there actually. Somewhere up there. I'll go over all of that. So the weather here is shocking. I suppose it is South Wales though. So standard. Tinkingswood burial chamber is a megalithic burial chamber built around 6,000 years ago during the Neolithic period in the Valley of Glamorgan near Cardiff in Wales and currently holds the title of the oldest grave in Wales. So, that's the chamber. It's really easy to get to because I'm parked just there. Oh, and we're gonna go down that track follow the path all the way up and you'll make it there it's literally like a five minute walk if that but if you're going to come to the time of year i'm doing it which is mid-january make sure you've got the right footwear because it's it's uh it's quite muddy i actually went out and brought a new pair of walking boots for this i needed some anyways Oh, fuck it, why not? Let's get some. Well, yeah, there's the chamber, and uh, pretty sure you can go inside, which would be fun. Tinkins Wood was once a village, but now all that remains is the burial chamber, which was built around 6,000 years ago, around 1,000 years or so before Stonehenge was constructed. The site was excavated in 1914 with a small engraving on the pillar stating the date of excavation. But inside the chamber there was 920 human bones which were all nearly broken. So as I was walking up, I saw the fence just there and I thought, Do you know what, I can't get in, that's shit. Turns out actually you can, I just needed to look a little bit further than my own nose. There's a little gate here. You can go through there and go in. And that's what we're going to do. Oh, also, there's uh, footpaths and walks all over the place around here. Literally, it's 
and unspeakable amount of walking. That was poor English. Tinkins Wood Burial Chamber. Huh. Restless Dead. Well, the first chamber we went to earlier in the video, that's actually not too far from here. Only, I don't know what, 10 minute drive. So perhaps there's quite a few more of these places dotted around this land, this area. Excavated 1914. Oh, two years after the Titanic sank. The same year World War I broke out. Oh, interesting. That's a lot of rocks. Must have been the construction stones. What's mad as well is this bit of land here that this is actually built on is uh, somewhat slightly raised. Perhaps it was picked there he was picked to uh, um, ensure it doesn't get flooded because this whole area seems like a bit of a floodplain. Might as well get in it. It's not very, uh, doesn't favor the tallest person in the world. Many of the myths and legends of Tinkinswood are also associated with the nearby burial site of St. Lythans, a short distance away which we saw earlier in the video. Legend has it that anyone who spends the night at Tinkinswood on the evenings before May Day, St. John's Day or Midwinter Day would either die, go mad or become a poet, strangely.
all additional information is available in the links below on how to get to the sites as well as parking. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.